Hey guys, welcome back to BF Media Entertainment. In this video, I'm going to be reviewing Whom Deck by Mark Lemon. Please subscribe if you enjoy, because I really try to make these informative, and let's get right into the performance. So it comes in this box. Uh, I'm going to crack it open and show you just a basic routine that Mark goes over in the tutorial. All right, so here I have some Guess Who cards here. They all have different names on it. See, you can see George, Tom, Herman, like all of these people, they're regular, and these are the cards. So what I'm gonna have your my spectator do, which is non-existent, is pick a card. Let's say they pick this one. I hope that's right side up, but if it's not, I'll just turn it around for you. And now, in essence, they can put their hand all over it or anything, and basically, I know that they were thinking of Bill. Is that right? Yes, it was right. All right, guys, let's get into the review. Hey, guys, so I'm going to be breaking down what you get here and everything that happens in the trick, and I hope you guys enjoyed that performance. All right, so that is the main trick, in essence, that you're going to get. You're going to get these awesome cards. They have question marks. You're going to get this box it, it's it's in reverse right now but like what it, it it's a question mark and you get all the names on the back and essentially what it is is it's a marked deck and i'm not revealing anything because if you watch it online like go to illusionist google whom deck by mark lemon you will get uh the free tutorial if you type in brad christian's name which is Brad Christian. All right, so what do you really get? You get, as I said, these nice cards. They're, they don't spread that easily. They have, they have names, like, I mean, there's Herman, as I said in the performance, Joe, so many people. And it does help if you can memorize the markings of these. However, you don't have to. I'm not going to get too much into how to do the trick because you can just get that online. It's not like I'm revealing anything that hasn't been revealed. All right. So it has no name, the box. It has only a question mark. And I love this because it'll prevent the spectators from Googling the name of the trick. And inside the box, you get four gaffed cards. I'll let you see those right now. Um, you're going to get George Doublebacker. It's in reverse because my phone's mirrored, but it's George Doublebacker. Susan Doublebacker with another person. Uh... And you'll get an double backer with an on both sides. And you'll also get a double backer. And I realize I just said double backer. I meant, well, this is a double backer, but you get three double facers. And these can be used to perform a multitude of different effects. Uh, Mark doesn't really go into those effects. He doesn't really explain much about these. However, if you want to you can use this just like a regular deck of cards there's a bunch of cards and here let me count them but i i know there's a bunch and there's two sets of each card yeah so it packs small plays big and it fits into your pocket great box cards are okay quality i don't hate them they're they're good quality but they're not bicycle standard so yeah super small self-contained box of cards is the deck examinable yes it is it is only a marked deck really really is the trailer honest yes there really isn't much of a trailer it's very transparent and you get the secret for free um and on the instructions you get like 18 minutes almost 
of quality instructions. You can hear Mark Lemon. Uh, and I kind of wish that they included a live performance in the tutorial. However, I guess that it's fine. But the only thing that worries me is whether this will uh, do great in the real world. And I promise you guys, I've tested it in the real world. And I'm happy to say that this does work well. And the price? Two dollars and ninety three cents. That's it. Whom is on a clearance sale on Illusionist? Is that a fair price? One hundred percent. Actually, I rephrase that. One thousand percent. This should be like ten, fifteen bucks, but this is three dollars. Grab it very quickly, or else I'll buy them all. I think this would play really huge at, like, a kid's party or somewhere that there's a lot of old people who've played Guess Who before. But, to be honest, these cards can be used to play Guess Who if you ignore the markings on the back. Like, I'm, I'm being honest. Pros and cons. Let's get into those. So, the pros, the price, so cheap, get it now. This pack small, plays big, and it, I bet it'll even fit into a very tiny pocket. Because the cards are like, this is the size of my hand compared to the card. This is a bicycle playing card compared to the cards. Really, really small. Uh, so, also, the deck is always ready to go. You get crystal clear instructions that are very, that they explain the markings well enough. It's clear. Uh, the deck, you get four gaffed cards. I love to do Alex Pandrea's, I'm not sure it's his effect, but the effect where you split, take two cards, press them together, they become a double backer, and then you just slide them apart after having it examined. I love doing that. I also love doing the ambitious card with this because I can cheat because there's two of each card. Uh, guys, I promise you, I really love this. Also, the box is not suspicious and the spectator will be likely unable to uh, find the effect online unless they Google like something very detailed. And the markings are very easy to see as well, and there are no angle issues, and it can be used in other languages other than English. So, like, uh, if I'm hablando español, then I can still speak it. If I'm speaking French, I can still speak it. And the cons, as I said, the markings are easy to read, and this can be a con, because it is possible that the audience can see the markings. It is possible. I have never, when I was performing this at a gig, I did this like 10 times and no one ever suspected anything of the markings. The way I routined it, it, uh, it made it like not obvious that the cards were marked. Yeah, and also another con is that there are no live performances in the tutorial. And there are there there are performances I bet you can find online, but I wish there were performances on the tutorial. Because this made me question whether or not this would work in the real world. Also, the fact that the markings are easy to read. Um well that's that's just something I constantly wonder about. Because I'm like, will the spectator catch it? Luckily, as I said, no one's caught me yet. However, it's still a possibility. Also, if the spectator looks at the cards enough, like I I was testing this on my brother. I was asking him if he could see the markings. I gave him like six minutes and of course he found them. But he didn't understand how the markings helped with the trick. Out of 100, I will give this 98%. Final verdict, definitely pick this up. You know what? Pick two up.
because this is super cheap. You can buy it from Illusionist link in the description. Thank you so much for watching, guys. If you did enjoy this review, please drop a like and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching, and see you in the next video. And I mean that.